tell us about the occasion and what it's like to be back here? Yeah, really exciting. Um, obviously with COVID, missed out in playing uh, Anzac game here last year with, with no crowd as well. So it's always a big day for us as a club and our fans always send out numbers and really, really excited to get that back on. We've got a few young guys that are inside now that wouldn't have experienced maybe this level of hype before a game, how they're handling it. Yeah, I guess like it's, it's midweek, you don't really feel it until, I guess, game day. It's, it's not like those sort of representative games where there's a lot of pressure, but it, there is a lot of excitement. Um, and yeah, they're handling it really well. I guess we go through our normal training week and, and as we would any other game, and come game day, we'll walk out to a, hopefully a full house. Do you think this is one of the more evenly matched games maybe we've seen in the past few years for this mixture? Oh, I think you can never take any team that you're playing, especially on Anzac Day, lightly. and. Um, yeah, the Dragons every year show up uh, and it's going to be no different this year. Just on your own contract extension, um, you obviously could have gone out and got a longer contract. Why did you opt to go through? Uh, it's just where we got to in the end. Um, I'll, I'll keep the details of that probably, like, uh, classified, but um, I want to stay at the club and, and keen, to, keen to stay here long term. But we. In the end, we just got to a one-year deal, and that's where we got to. So I guess in five months' time, we'll be working through it again, hopefully stay for a bit longer. Did you think at all about leaving? Uh, I didn't want to leave. Um, but I guess that obviously there's options to go elsewhere. But um, yeah, I, I really don't want to leave. I really love the club and, and love playing my footy here. And I think it's, it's the best spot for me to, to develop as a player and as a man. You've obviously got that rugby background. Would you ever look at maybe making a switch after one of these I'm keen, I'm keen to stay long term, yeah, just got to sort it out. Just on that rugby stuff, I just wanted to touch on maybe TJ and reports that he's interested in. What do you, what do you think of him and do you think he's going to make this Yeah, I've read that. Um, yeah, I don't know personally, but it's pretty exciting for us. Obviously, losing Jake, um, a massive part of our team, and obviously the chatters are that he would try and play Booker. Um, I've watched him play rugby and he's a, he's a class player, and I, I don't know if he's had any history in rugby league, but. Um, yeah, it would be pretty cool to see someone try and make that swap. I, I can't comment on how he would go, but um, yeah, man, I, like, like I've said, I'm a, I'm a rugby fan and enjoy watching the game, so to have an all-black come into our team would be pretty cool. Um, yeah. I guess that was a pretty brutal um, game, obviously, against the Storm, so much intensity. What was sort of the wash-up from that? Yeah, very sore. Um, yeah, I guess the first half we took a lot of juice out of our tank, um, defending our line for a long time, sort of putting pressure on ourselves with making, I guess, some errors and some poor decisions and um, it came back to bite us in the second half and we'll need, need to be better this week. What's um, happening with Boyd's jersey this week? Boyd's jersey? Are you guys wearing, someone wearing your Boyd's jersey or something this week or no? I guess I'm, I've been wearing no, it the last couple of weeks. Are you doing anything for Boyd this, this um, week? I don't think so. No, no, not no, that I know of. Just checking. Yeah. Just back on the, the rugby stuff, you've obviously made that switch um, previously. How hard is it to go from? Rugby yeah, I guess I feel like it would be easier to go from rugby to rugby league than it would be going from league to union. Um, just because I guess the it's a, it's a similar game and there's less sort of um, I don't know little intricate, intricate details that you'd have to pick up on. Whereas in rugby, going from league, if you never played rugby before, you might struggle around the breakdown and the ruck and that kind of thing. Um, so yeah, it'd be interesting to see if it came across. And, it would be making a lot more tackles than it would be making in rugby union, but um, yeah, it, whatever, whatever decision you make, so I welcome him in. So, do you think we've spoken about it? Have you no, just... not at all. Not at all. I've obviously only heard the reports from the media, and mate, as, as much as I love you guys, a lot of it is smoke <laughs> and mirrors, so who knows what will happen. Do you think as someone who has done that, you could maybe be like a little bit of a mentor to, to show him how to do it? <laughs> I'm not, I'm not going to tell an all black that I'll mentor him. Um, <laughs> I'll, give him I'll give him a few tips if that's what he wants, but. Um, yeah, I'll, I'll help anyone if they want help. Just in terms of the, the occasion, um, you know, take us through that. It's always you know, a special occasion here on Anzac Day. Yeah, it's always an honour to play on Anzac Day and um, it's an honour to be living in Australia in this day and age and we can't forget why we're able to live the, the lucky lives that we lead and a lot of it comes down to those who served us and Anzac Day is a day to remember them and pay our tributes and our respects to those people. and. Um, for, me, for us to be, I guess, the entertainment for that day is something that we don't take lightly and something that I thoroughly enjoy and look forward to every every year. It was really interesting to listen to Morris yesterday talk about just how um, in-depth the club goes with, with um, cause some of the boys, it was just like, oh yeah, okay, but they've actually learned a lot about what Anzac Day is all about. Yeah, mate, Robbo is, as you guys all know, is a bit of a different guy and 
um, I guess, loves putting us outside of our comfort zones and big on history, big on history of the Roosters, um, big on history of, of anything that we're doing. Um, so, like, when we went to, to Paris and went to France, we went to villers bretonneux and went to the war memorials there and learned a lot about the war. And then went with this jersey, told us about the, I guess, the backstory to the jersey and, and whatnot. So, I guess um, he doesn't just want us to put on a jersey and, and say we're paying our respects. He, want us, he wants us to actually understand what we're doing and, and why we should be paying our respects. So, I guess you get a deeper understanding. So, um, yeah, it's cool. Um, stuff that I never would have learned anywhere else. And I'm really honoured to be able to pay it forward. How different is the week to week preparation for an Anzac Day game compared to next week? It's, it's exactly the same prep, as cliche as that sounds. Um, it's probably a bit nicer because we've got a nine day turnaround after that storm game. So, get a few extra days off there in the middle to, I guess, get the body feeling right. Corey, can we just start with how important this game is and, and to be back here? Yeah, it's very important. I guess we, um, we all get to show our respect to past and present um, soldiers. Um, you know, doing their thing so we can, you know, do what we can do in this beautiful country. So um, it's definitely um, a big game and, and everyone looks forward to it. It was a big occasion that was really missed last year. Yeah, it was. Um, I only played in one and it was one of the best games I've played in, you know, and, and um, I'm really looking forward to it this Sunday. What is it? What's it like running out? It is completely different. It's any time playing here is special. But... Yeah, yeah, it's, 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 it's crazy. Um, you know, every, you know, everyone's so you know g'd up to play this game and excited, and and um, you know you you kind of go in for a battle. So, um, really looking forward to it Sunday, and, and can't wait. But um, quite quite an experience hard you're up against. Yeah, um, they're gonna they're gonna turn up. Um, everyone shows up for a game like this, so um, they've got plenty of experience around them as well. So, um, still going to be a good game, and, and we're looking forward to it. Have you had a look at the Sam Walker? Yeah, I've seen him on um, a few highlights the last couple of weeks. Um, he's a really good young talent, and, and um, we obviously haven't done any video on them yet, but I'm sure we will. And, and um, yeah, he's a talent, and looking forward to playing against him. Yeah, he's been training. Um, he's been running. Um, he ran yesterday. Um, he said it feels pretty good. So um, if he's right, it'll be a good inclusion. Do you think it's difficult for him to come in when there is so much expectation given how the season? No, not really. Um, he's our captain when he comes back, and and um, he was in terrific form when um, before he broke his leg. So um, as long as you know we're all doing our job, it makes it a lot easier for Benny as well. So um, if he's back playing, um, we'll be looking forward to it. Corey, do you sorry? Yeah, a bit of grade three carry on, I think. <laughs> <laughs> I got the scan yesterday, and it wasn't too much, but. Um, yeah, I'll be all right, mate. I'll be sweet. Are you saying you're a sook? <laughs> <laughs> Just a little. Um, with the Roosters, it's, I mean, you know, you're always up against them. Just the way they are at the moment, obviously, a little, you know, sort of light on with so many people out. Is it, do you, do you approach them any differently? No, no, no. They're a very well coached team. And like I said before, they've got plenty of experience still in their side. And, and um, yeah, their season vets have, you know, the, the last you know, five years they've been up there. So, um, we're definitely not going to take them lightly and um, yeah, we'll do our homework on them. Yeah, it's exciting. It's, it's, it's massive and like I said before, it's just about showing respect and, and um, you know, we, we get to do whatever we want in this country and it's such a beautiful country. So um, yeah, just, you're just being you know, respectful and, and enjoy it.